How's it going, my friends? Welcome to Web3 Revolution. Today, we're going to be talking about a very interesting project I've run across, and that is Hero Blaze Three Kingdoms. And um, this is a really, really fun one. So it's got an exchange. It's got a really fun game concept. There's a lot of cool stuff to it. I'm actually going to give you a couple of notes I took for this project to kind of give you the general outline before we actually jump into the meat and potatoes of this. But of course, please keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I am in no way a financial advisor, purely just a crypto geek who loves to discuss this kind of thing. So with that being said, don't invest in anything just because I talk about it. Of course, do a modicum of your own research before making any investment. And with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and jump right on into things. Um... So basically, some of the to the main talking points I want to hit are um, so it's Hero Kings, excuse me, Hero Blaze Three Kingdoms is a very popular po uh, casual RPG mobile game integrated with P2E that's reached more than two hundred thousand concurrent users early in this year. Only in Korea, however, which is really interesting because it gives you know it gives way to obviously expand things um so there are various events that are going on to celebrate the opening of a new server making it the perfect timing to earn modal stones or moodal stones and we'll get more into those of course um a roulette event is ongoing and you can obtain roulette tickets by completing daily missions and participating in various content and um you can also obtain Moodal stones for a 100% chance when spinning the roulette using a ticket, and a maximum of 1,000 Moodal stones are given per ticket spin. Um, and this event time is limited, so you can collect as many tickets as possible to start spinning, obviously before the event is over, um, and that is sort of the global pre-registration event that's being talked about right here in the uh, the intro for it. Out of it, yeah. And so that is their little intro video, by the way. I just wanted to show you that to give you a good look at what the uh, the game actually looks like. Now we're going to talk here about the modal t tokens. I'm going to first show you the exchange. So exchange modal token stones inside Blaze uh, Three Kingdoms for modal two tokens. The exchange rates determined by the ratio of circulating stones in the game and number of exchangeable tokens uh, and then you'll actually click in the exchange on the top of this and you can actually go through here check out what all of those are with the different packages what you can buy so that's really awesome um, and then the modal two token so we're actually gonna go through it hero blaze three kingdoms you can earn rewards by exchanging modal tokens obtained in the game for modal two tokens at the exchange by staking modal two tokens you can earn V modal um, excuse me moo doll I keep saying modal moo doll Related to the governance, through V. Mudal, you can exert influence in various agendas inside Hero Blaze Three Kingdoms by participating in votes uh, to receive rewards. And uh, basically, this kind of tells you a little bit about how the actual system itself works in the game. The play to earn, you know, thing, how much they're burning percentage wise. So I think I, I really like the way they have that set up. Um, you can, of course, share the news there on Twitter over the corner. And uh, this is the swap. So if you actually don't want to swap Moodal, um, it, so during the launch in Korea, Moodal 2 tokens, uh, swap the Moodal tokens issued during the launch in Korea, excuse me, for the Moodal 2, which is what's going to be the uh, the actual native token now. Uh, so they're upgrading, which is awesome as well. A great FAQ here, just kind of figuring out what it is. And, and you know, we saw in the video, but it's a BNB chain based RPG mobile game integrated with play, and, play to earn. Uh, on a chain features of Hero Blaze Three Kings DOMs can be experienced on the official website. However, the play and earn features on the official website are available in countries, excuse me, not available in countries where play and earn is regulated by relevant laws, which makes absolute sense. Uh, these are some really great investors and partners. A couple of these names really stick out to me as people that I've seen around, uh, which is something that I really find important, in my opinion, with like partners. I like to have seen them before, if I'm being honest with you. Um... So there are a couple of companies there as well. Uh, we've checked out the exchange now. Uh, I also highly recommend, in fact, um, checking out things over here on their medium.com. They do have a lot of very great stuff about the airdrop events, uh, just different things that are going on, different things to um, uh, essentially to, you know, sh explain the project better to you. Because as I said, you know, this is not financial advice, right? You know, don't. Don't, you know, research any investment before you make it, and they give you a lot to research, though, um, which I really appreciate. You know, not every company gives that much amount uh, always as well. I apologize if my microphone's a little blurry, my friends, uh, a little too well lit. 
Uh, and then, of course, we're doing pretty well here on Twitter as well, by the way, with t- about 10,000 followers on the official Twitter channel. I just thought that was pretty cool and impressive. And um, then we've got their their white paper, which is on Docs, which is where everyone, you know, any anyone who's anyone has their white paper. And you can actually play now. You can see on apps on Google Play. So you can check it out now. Check out all the official links as well. There are different... Uh, there are, of course, other social media that I did not go through initially, uh, but you can absolutely check out Hero Blaze. So, uh, Three Kingdoms of BNB Chain, just talking about that. So, through Chain Train Generals, you can form the strongest team through general skills, team combinations, and a formation FX to complete with other players on the different battles using your own strategy. Uh, and then play casually through easy controls, enjoy fast growth and action packed battles without repetitive gameplay through an idle system. And just talking about, you know, essentially what it is. They've got a really solidified roadmap, which I appreciate. Telling you kind of where they plan to go with things. And that they're really making sure that this project is user-centric, user-focused. So that's also a really positive aspect about this project. Telling you a little bit about the gameplay here. So the collection and training, the general, collect generals, um, train generals. So, you know, that's going to be a big part of this game, right? With over 200 generals with unique skills, they're divided in camps of Wii, Shu, Wii, Wu, and Warlords and Heroes. And are classified as rapid fire, penetration, or explosive types with their skill characteristics. So, again, giving you that ability to have a team that you can sort of have as your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, it, it's... It's your own unique group, which I really appreciate. It lets players play how they want. I think that's a really big aspect in games that a lot of games very much so overlook is like allowing the the people to play how they like. Like um, a great example is like some people like to play the healer. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, in, in certain games, but some people like to be the paladin or the, you know, the guy with the sword. So it's sort of all about how you like to play your general style of gaming. And I think that's really cool. Um, so train training generals, you can level up generals by collecting experience books, promoting them, collecting general fragments, and upgrade their skills by collecting skill upgrade stones. And um, just talking about sort of what you do with all of that, again, going going through, you know, very much detail in, in that. Oh, again, I do highly recommend you check out, just for brevity's sake to not keep it too long here, I, I want to go through these things. Uh, so talking about the PvP versus PvE, so the Infinity Rush is a shooting mode, Expedition, various items can be obtained by defeating bosses every week, so, <coughs> excuse me, commentary is another shooting mode PvE content, so there are different types of it, Duel is a turn to auto battle PvP, so they've got a lot of different games, and of course they're forming more than the Alliance benefits, so you can actually have an Alliance as well, making it a really cool, um, community driven project as i said it is very community driven but it wants you to have your own community which i love obtain mood all stones so uh just telling you everything you need to know about mood alls as well which we really did go over the you know the the nitty-gritty of it and then there's going to be some articles in the economy here so just kind of going through the general tokenomics which i showed you there a little chart about it um and uh essentially this is how they're distributing it and i think that's really smart actually to burn a good bit and then put a good bit with holders and the good bit play to earn so you know you're really focusing it where it needs to go i think a lot of projects like this can kind of try to focus tokens in the wrong area so i really appreciate that then just talking about the token itself so we can see here um the reserve advisor private sale team and by the way team takes very little percentage um, they're really putting a lot more in the play to earn aspect than most projects would. The team's taking a much smaller cut than most teams would. Um, so I will like to say like that's really positive in my opinion. I like to see when a team is not trying to take too much money. Um, but yeah, my friends, that's it. We've got the exchange and staking, of course, and then the official website guide, but we really overwent that, and the clay meta as well. So it's a metaverse game and NFT platform produced by Natris. And uh, definitely recommend checking that out a little more as well. But that is Hero Blaze for today, my friends. Very interesting project. Excited to see more from this one. I'll probably be playing it for you. But as always, my friends, thank you so much for coming back to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colt, and I will see you in the next video.